There can be abnormalities of the P wave, which indicate something about heart function. An enlarged P wave may indicate an enlarged atrium, say from a narrow valve, as in mitral valve astenosis. The PQ interval can uh, indicate something about heart function. Longer PQ intervals may result from weak SA impulses or damage to the AV node. There may be scar tissue formed uh, during heart disease or rheumatic fever. Some individuals have heart blocks in which there is a P wave, but there is no following QRS complex because of scar tissue which interferes with the passage of impulses uh, from uh, the AV node on uh, to the ventricles. Sometimes the lengthened PQ interval is so long that the repolarization of the atria can be seen as a separate electrical vent than the depolarization of the ventricles. So before there is the QRS complex, there is a small U wave which represents the repolarization of the atria. An enlarged Q wave can indicate a heart attack or myocardial infarction. An enlarged R wave may indicate enlarged ventricles. The ST segment can be above its normal baseline during an acute heart attack. It can be depressed due to insufficient oxygen reaching the heart. The T wave is flatter when insufficient oxygen levels are reaching the heart. It can be elevated with a high potassium level in the blood.